A political firestorm erupts over Governor Hochul's choice to lead the state's top court. Judge Hector LaSalle is facing heat from progressive Democrats who say he's too moderate. But as CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer shows us, the governor's digging in her heels. Just days after being inaugurated as the first woman elected governor of New York, do solemnly swear. Governor Hochul faces her first big test the ability to convince members of her own party in the state Senate not to reject her nominee to head the state court of appeals, Judge Hector LaSalle. There is an individual named Hector LaSalle who has had to endure character assassination like I've never seen. It was Hochul on the offensive at a predominantly Hispanic church on the Lower East Side seeking community support for LaSalle, who would be the first Latino to head the state's top court. It's an uphill battle because progressives in the state Senate, which must approve the nomination, are dead set against him. LaSalle is a former prosecutor. They want someone who is more of a civil rights activist. My problem is he seems to be an agent of the status quo. We have a four-judge block on that court that has been taking it uh, to the right, uh, ruling against tenants, against workers, uh, creating all sorts of decisions that are counter to uh, what New Yorkers would, uh, would prefer. Senate Deputy Majority Leader Michael Gianaris is leading the charge against LaSalle, pointing to a small number of the thousands of cases LaSalle has been associated with as the chief judge of the appellate division in Brooklyn that he says are too conservative. The fact is, the court has not faced the scrutiny it needed over the years. We are doing that now. Joining the fray, former Chief Judge of the Court of Appeals, Jonathan Lippman, who says what the Senate is doing goes against the merit selection of judges and improperly politicizes the process. I think it's, it's, it's character distortion. It's an ambush on something that, again, is, is not appropriate for how you look at a judicial candidate. You want to look at the total record. You want to look at all of their decisions. The Senate Judiciary Committee is scheduled to hold a hearing on the appointment on Wednesday. Governor Hochul has indicated that she will go to court if the committee refuses to allow the entire Senate to vote. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.